Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. One rainy morning, the delivery room of a capital hospital had three women awaiting the birth of their babies. Two of them were very humble and the third looked like she came from a good family. One of the humble women and the money lady gave birth almost at the same time. They both had girls and were taken to some, but the wealthy woman was a little older and was not in good medical condition. Instead, the other, who was completely fine and went to breastfeed her daughter. As he held her close to his bosom and gazed into her beautiful eyes and that woman's head, a thousand and one thoughts began to pass because she lived in extreme poverty. The baby's father had abandoned him, and he didn't know what he was going to do to support it. At that moment, he took advantage of the fact that the nurse on duty went out to buy a coffee and changed his daughter's clothes for that of the rich girl, and also exchanged them for Cora. She said goodbye to the girl in her womb and saw that the child that they would give her when she left the hospital. The next day, the woman was discharged and left with the daughter of the wealthy lady in her arms. He arrived at his humble home, and to his surprise, the neighbors threw up waiting with clothes and milk for the newborn and also food for her. The woman was very happy, and at least a month's worth of food for herself and her child. The months passed, and the poor woman walked from house to house and a colony of wealthy families in search of work. The little one, Maribel, in her arms. Finally, an elderly couple told them that they were going to hire her to clean the house and run some errands for them, and when they saw that she was walking with her daughter in her arms, they told her that there was no problem in taking the child home. The woman turned out to be an excellent worker, and the old people grew very fond of her and little Maribel, her daughter, to the point that they ate with her at the table and bought a dining room for small children, as they were so used to the company of their mother, single, who ended up asking her to move into the mansion's utility room. Maribel learned to walk around that house and received the affection of the elderly, while her mother was so trustworthy that she took care of all the banking and social security procedures for the elderly. The humble woman turned out to be a dedicated mother, concerned with giving the best to her daughter. When Maribel was four years old, her mother sent to school in the distinguished neighborhood. The monthly payment was very expensive, but the woman also sewed in her spare time and thus covered the expenses. The elders who treated Maribel like a granddaughter decided that they would help by paying half of the tuition, which was a relief to her mother. Maribel was an excellent student and she was a very pretty girl. Her green eyes captured everyone's attention, making several girls envious of her. One of her companions, named Norma, had taken a lot of resentment towards little Maribel because she was prettier than her, and above all, because she always held first place on the honor roll. So little Norma started to annoy Maribel too much. She took her pencils and broke them. She laughed because she called her poor, and even on one occasion, she poured glue into her hair. Norma's father was required at school and very sorry he apologized to Maribel's mother, while the wayward girl told him how could he possibly apologize to someone from the servants? The man, who was a very honest and very fair man, decided to punish his daughter and took her to a nursing home for six months to volunteer to clean. Every time, he was in that place. The girl hates Maribel because she thought that her consenting parents had punished her that way because of her. Norma's birthday was always one of the most important events in the classroom but she never invited Maribel on the grounds that they were too little to be part of the inner circle. However, after all the incidents she had caused with Maribel, her parents decided to teach her a great lesson and told her that in order to enjoy her little party, she would have to invite the girl she hated so much. Norma was surprised by her parents' requests, and she gave them a resounding no and told them that they preferred not to have a party for the first time in their lives. The next day, she told her friends about the decision she had made, but they told her not to cancel the party, to let Maribel come, and they would make her life impossible. That afternoon, Norma asked her parents to speak for a moment to tell them that she agreed to invite Maribel to her party because she had reflected and was not willing to cancel the celebration. 
Her parents were very happy and believed that their daughter was changing. However, they did not imagine what was coming. Three weeks later, Norma celebrated her 13th birthday. The party was quite an event. One by one, the guests arrived. When Maribel came in and went to deliver her gift to the birthday girl, Norma threw it on the floor and told her she didn't need trinkets. Her mother saw what happened and went to greet Maribel. She apologized for what her daughter had done and told her to make herself comfortable to enjoy the party. All the guests were in collusion to annoy Maribel, so one gave them room to sit at one of their tables. One of the girls passed by with a glass of soda and tossed it at the humble teenager. Norma's grandmother got up indignant and took Maribel to her room with a math. When she was helping her dry her hair, she kept looking at the girl and thinking how much she looked like her daughter when she was that age. The lady always had doubts about her granddaughter because she saw her in the hospital when she was born and noticed that her eyes were colored, but when they gave her to her daughter, they no longer had them. However, she never said anything. Maribel returned to the party, and in public, the celebrant said that she would split the cake only if the filthy one she had invited by engagement left the place. Poor Maribel left the celebration in tears, while Norma laughed with her friends. When the girl got home where her mother worked, she was too sad, and her mother, seeing her and hearing what they had done to her, cried with her. The girls of the house came and asked what was with them. When they found out what was happening, he told her to go to that girl's house and defend her daughter before the parents of the presumed Norma. The humble woman took her daughter, and they left for the house where they had treated her as a human spoil. Upon meeting Norma's mother, the humble woman fainted. Everything came to itself. She spoke with the owners of the house. At that, Norma came down with an arrogant attitude and began to shout, What the hell were those people doing at home? She asked her parents to be more selective about who they let in because they could even steal. At that moment, Maribel's mother was filled with courage and told them that she had better shut her mouth because all those luxuries they had were thanks to her because it was not fair that she believed herself more than others. There was a tense silence in the room and Norma's parents asked the woman for an explanation of what she was saying. In private, only the adults heard the story of how she had changed the girls so that her daughter would not starve. However, he explained that Maribel, fortunately, had not led a precarious life because she had worked day and night to give him what he needed. When the conceited Norma found out who her real mother was, she ran off screaming that this woman could not have ties to her. At that time, those who believed her parents told her that she would continue to live at home with her daughter Maribel, on the condition that she would never humiliate her mother again. Norma finally understood that she would have to follow those rules because she did not want to go live as the daughter of a domestic worker. However, as time went by, the conceited girl understood the lesson that life had taught her and learned to see Maribel as a sister who never changed her simple way of being despite having become the daughter of billionaires. Maribel always went to the house where the woman who raised her worked to see her false grandparents because she was a very grateful girl. Later, Norma accompanied her to visit her mother. Now tell us, what do you think of this story? Share your answers in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We wait for you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.